guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a fairly big haul of the stuff we picked up on a little trip to the Estee Lauder company outlet. Um, the nearest one to us is usually Gum Wharf, but Darren actually got the opportunity to go with work to a um, more local one um, that has, I guess it's like more so for staff. I don't think it's usually open to the public. Um, but they did like an event with Darren's work and so yeah we got to go it was pretty much like the cosmetics company outlet that you find at like Gum Wharf and places like that um, which are sort of general outlets um, there's one at Vista as well um, so I thought I'd show you what we picked up it's quite a big bag um, so the prices I'm pretty sure are comparable to the normal cosmetics company outlet store we did get an extra 10% off and a free gift for like the event um, and a lot of these are gifts um, did a little bit of early Christmas shopping so if you are a family member or a friend close friend stop watching this you're not allowed to watch this because there might be something in it for you um, so yes anyone in my family if you're watching this or friends you have permission not to watch this video um, so yeah, and there's even some um, Christmas gifts for me and Darren in here that we are going to wrap up now and try and forget about <laughs> before Christmas. Um, so yeah, let's jump in. Um, so the first thing I got was this, um, and I think there was a lot of probably last year's sort of Christmas gift sets and bits like that. Um, this Clinique set, I was mostly interested in the mascara and I did originally pick up just the mascara on its own it's the Clinique High Impact Zero Gravity Mascara um, but when we got to the till they were like I'm sure there's that in a set um, and obviously I was a bit dubious I was like I don't really need anything else in the set but the mascara there alone was £17 this was £12 and you get the mascara you get a um, high impact liquid liner and you get an eye cream um, all for £12 so I was like even if I don't end up using the other two bits, like, it's kind of a win anyway. Um, so this is the very tiny little eye cream you get. Um, it is, how many mils? Five mils. So, I mean, it's kind of good for travel and obviously good to dip your toes in, see if you like it. Um, it's a very sort of liquidy material. And I just smell this and it's very nostalgic when from like an early teen, like pre-teen when I used to use Clinique sort of moisturiser and that sort of thing. Um, and then in here we have the eyeliner. This is a winged liner. I might start getting back into winged liner so at least now I can make sure that I've got rid of any older stuff and I've got this. And then I wanted to try the mascara. I'm not going to open it just because I'm not quite ready to use it yet. I'm still using the mascara I've got. Um, that's what it looks like. They didn't really have too many mascaras. They did have um, the high impact, which is the one that I usually like. But they only had the waterproof. Um, my mum did want a waterproof one, so this is for her. And that's £17. So, yeah. That's how much the mascaras were. So I thought it was kind of a no-brainer. I'll try this mascara and then I'm kind of pleased about the eye cream. I can use that for like puffiness, so to speak. Um, so yeah, that was the first thing. Next I got this, which is a MAC Millarize blush. And I always think MAC products at any of the outlet stores are kind of hit and miss. They do a lot of special edition collections, end up going there, and then it's always like the bits that didn't quite sell as well. Um, they had a lot of sets, they usually have a lot of brush sets and things like that. Um, but they did have this blush, which is Warm Soul. I don't know if they're discontinuing Warm Soul or what. Um, this was 1975 as opposed to 28. Um, and it's been on my radar for a while to get, so... That is what it looks like, so like a, a peachy pink. Um, it's more so like a, a true sort of pink with a gold glitter, more so than a peachy. Um, and again, I kind of need to go through my blushes and skin finishes and sort of get rid of some of the older ones because I do have some, we're talking about as long as I've been on YouTube, so probably about 10 years, so I definitely need to try and let go of those um i know powders don't really go as bad as like 
liquid products and things but you got to think it comes to a point where how much is that bacteria sort of harboring on so um, I think this is my sort of push to sort out my blushes then we have a couple palettes I won't open these because these are part of the gifts um, but we've got this one this is Too Faced um, Secret Santa uh, and those are the colors so I thought really nice warm neutrals pretty much gonna go well for anyone um, and then also we've got this one by Too Faced which is the Born This Way Sunset Stripped and again neutrals glittery um, yeah and I think well, I know definitely the person that this is going to go to will like this um, and I'm pretty sure this will go down well as well and it's very cute sort of Christmas packaging um, so this was £17 um, usually 24 and the bigger one was 33 75 usually 48 so this is kind of an idea of what I guess is in the stores at at the moment this I am so excited for because this is something that's been on my radar it came up on TikTok and I was like I really want to try it that I was so TikTok influenced by it um I went to get it on boots um and then like you couldn't redeem your points so um this is 18 pounds and it's by Dr Jart um and it's the size pair um and this is the the first size pair kit um and I mainly wanted it for the color correcting treatment um so this is all this these products are supposed to help with redness, calm the skin, um, and I, I mean I've got foundation on so you can't really tell, but I do have very red sort of just general flush skin on my cheeks, around my nose and on my chin, um, so I thought this would be really good to try. So you get the a 50 ml, no, a 50 fluid ounces or 15 mils of the Tiger Grass Colour Correcting Treatment, that's what that looks like, and literally the littlest bit I've seen goes a long way so that is what it looks like we're kind of going for a green theme with my outfit and everything at the moment um, and then it did come with the Tiger Grass Repair Cream and the Tiger Grass Repair Serum um, so again it's supposed to help with redness um, it says the, the serum Suits the look of irritated skin. The repair cream again, soft cream moisturizes and soothes the look of red irritated skin. And then you've got the treatment. Um, apply appropriate amount gently until the green cream turns to beige. So we'll see because I am pretty pale. So hopefully their idea of beige is not like brownie orange. Um, but this was eighteen pounds. Um, and it was £24 normal price so I think you can I think I have seen you can get it £18 some places especially like probably boots you could probably get good offers on every now and again but I was excited to see this in person and get that to try and then before I go on to Jo Malone um, this was one of the free products they gave us it was the Estee Lauder um, pure colour whipped matte lip colour with moringa butter and this is number 922 whipped matte cocoa whip which is a mouthful um, and yeah I'm not too sure if I'm gonna like the shade this might be, have to be passed on to family or something um, but it comes in this really interesting little tube like that and then you have like the little doe foot and it is kind of like a darker beige which is not usually my color I will try it and see it may be too sort of brownie for me but my, I know my mum likes sort of brown colours so she might like that more than me so I'll give it a try and see um, and then we'll move on to Jo Malone so Jo Malone's always great if you can to buy it at the outlets um, because you're getting you're getting it for cheaper and it's usually all current products um, like today I saw they had English Pear and Freesia, they had a lot of the Red Roses so if you like that, they had some of the newer more limited stuff, um, like I don't know what it was called but the, the one that came in the little square bottle with the purple lid, they had that one um, and then they had um, a lot of um, Wild Bluebell, they had Blackberry and Bay, they had a lot of the, the darker scents um, that come in the black bottles that are more expensive 
Um, so the first thing we got was this, and I, again, I'm not going to open it because it is going to be a gift. Um, the usual retail of this is £100, and this was £75. It comes in a really nice Jo Malone little pouch, um, and it had a English pear and freesia, um, I think it was like a 40ml spray um we've got a little hand wash and a cream in it as well um and i think english parent freeze is usually quite a a safe scent to go for if you're buying for other people um that was actually my wedding scent so it reminds me of that um but it was nice that that came in a bag um because if you just buy the jo malone fragrances um they just tissue paper it they don't have boxes for everything they did have some boxes um more so like for the sets with the minis in them um, but if you're just buying sort of standalone the big bigger bottles they they didn't have any boxes um so this one is darren's this is the dark amber and ginger lily um body cream i won't open it because it's sealed up um but he obviously tried it and liked it it doesn't say how much it was on there so let me have a look so the body cream was £56. I'm not sure how much they usually retail for. I'll put a little annotation. Um, but I am going to put that away for him for Christmas. Especially because he uses moisturisers and that sort of thing a lot more in the winter. Um, and then we got a fragrance each. Which is very naughty because I know we've not long bought some stuff um, duty free. And had this invitation come around before we went on holiday, we probably would have waited. But you know hindsight um they also i don't know why chucked in a little spoolie i don't know i might keep that for my eyebrows so um so let me show you this they had a lot of minis um they weren't there weren't many varieties of the scents um they had either this or two of the scent and then two of like the little black bottled ones um but this is one of my favorite scents so I, that's why i picked this up and i had to restrain myself in the german loan section i will say um, but i got four of the nine mil wild bluebell um because this is one of my favorite scents um i have not long bought a little i got a little mini set of german loan of vintage that was barely used that is a variety of scents though and i used like my vintage balance it felt like i really got it for free um but i thought i'd get these um and i think these are like perfect handbag size um obviously you can put the the slightly longer ones in but these are really the best and then oh let me see how much that was I and that was 24 pounds and then these ones are going to be our christmas presents that we're going to put away so darren got the dark amber and ginger lily i'm not sure if he's had this before yeah i think he has it smells familiar so um these are usually 150 the darker bottles and he got it for 110 or 112 50 um and we did obviously get um a little bit extra from purchasing through the event and then I got this one, which is not really a surprise if you've seen um, the whole video we did from Israel. Um, I got the Blackberry and Bay. Um, these are usually 118 and they came out as, as 88.50. So, um, yeah, really good um, for the, what are these, 100 or 150 mils? 100 mils. Yeah, it just, I love this. It reminds me now of our trip to Israel and I got the you know the size is that it's like half of it um and i find those are good for like if you're going away for a weekend to pack um so i'll use this one sort of at home but they're going away to christmas so i'll wrap those up hopefully forget about them and then it'll be a nice surprise for us both at christmas so that was everything that we got at the little essay lauder cosmetics company outlet um event today um, i hope you enjoyed sort of seeing what we got getting a little taste of what's in the stores um i always love going into the cosmetics company outlet stores whenever i can i feel you can grab some real bargains um and sometimes like i said they do sort of previous collections um from all of the various brands i mean if you've not shopped in one they did mac clinique Too faced they had some hair care like bumble and bumble they had dr jart um they had i think they obviously had estee lauder 
um, and they had Bobby Brown and Jo Malone. They had a lot of like gift sets, um, bundles, they had like boxes um, that were like gift boxes which they had loads of variety of things. As good a price as those were I didn't feel they were going to benefit me because A I didn't know what all the products were, I didn't know if I'd like them. Shades you obviously don't get to pick so um, that's why I kind of stuck with what I did. Um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already to see sort of more hauls and things like this, um, vlogs, all that kind of good stuff and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.